we've been running this for a number of months now. Um, started off with the idea between us and the Church of England folks to um, start to do something that meets in the, some of the needs of the community. Um, the intention was to um, open up the building and see what happened as much as anything else. Um, we, myself and Jackie Fowler the Deacon, talked with Kat the Vicar um, about the needs of the community here and there is very little in the Oxnob area uh, for the for people to be able to gather together uh, apart from the local pubs and it was just to give them an opportunity to come together we looked at things that were happening in the village and decided that Wednesday afternoon would be a good time particularly as we sort of overlap with the end of school and so we thought we may attract one or two of the parents coming out of school with their, their, with their children just to ask them to come in and give them a cup of coffee and, and see what happens. So it's a great opportunity to spend time with people in the village, um, to get to know people better, just to chat to people about their concerns, what's going on in their lives. It's a fantastic opportunity and uh, great fun actually. I think people really enjoy coming. Yeah, it's still in the pitch football in, in our building and it's providing a need. You get a chance to meet other people. You also get a chance to meet some of the younger younger people so that's nice one person talking to me about um how he certainly over the winter period he may not have seen anybody else apart from his brother other than being coming into the cafe another person saying how welcoming that she's felt in this community having lived here for a little while but had nothing really to connect into the community with and those people are very now now fairly active with within us and the the good thing about this has been that um, it hasn't really been, it isn't really run by people who are at the core of the churches, but it has gathered people to help from the edges of things. And so we don't really have the, what you would call church council people or um, PCC people running the event. We've had a number of people who happily come and feel that they can make tea or coffee and serve a little bit of cake and people feel connected in a way that I think they haven't done before. We started coming from the first week, didn't we? Yeah, we did. And uh, I go to St Mary's, and Caroline's my closest friend, so I said to Caroline, right, come on, come on. we're going to go and join yeah. in and help out. And we really enjoyed it. Yeah, we have. What I'm noticing is more with individuals, so we're seeing a number of individuals who might have uh, been quite isolated, but we wouldn't necessarily have known that, and because we're meeting these people, um, on a, on a weekly basis, we're getting to know them, we're, we're meeting people who um, are getting to know friends in the community that they hadn't previously known, and uh, it's had a real beneficial effect. I'm not sure that it's changing the whole community yet, um, but certainly for a number of individuals it's making a difference, and that's fantastic. There, there are certainly there are a number of people who come on a regular basis who have said, this is somewhere that I can come and there was nowhere for me to come before, and I, I know I can just walk in and sit down, there'll be somebody that I can chat to. So it's not just about a space where people can come and sit and have uh, tea and coffee. It's also about a space where people can come and sit and chat and feel like it's a safe environment where they can come and chat with people, um, which is great. On one guy I was speaking to who isn't comfortable going to the pub and sitting because it's not his thing, but he's just come and sat and we've had a latte yeah. and a cup of tea and just really helped people give have somewhere to come yeah you know because Absolutely. the pub isn't for everybody is yeah. it no. and it's in the day that people need this actually yes. you know and the opportunity to meet lots of other people so no i think it's grand yeah. really yeah. great really yeah. great I think it's been a surprise that it's really connected with some of the younger people, particularly some of the younger women who have children who have said that it's given them a valuable place to go where they haven't had that opportunity before. There are some people who are coming every week who for clearly it's a very important central part of their of their um, socialising, their ability to get out and about, but there are also people who drop in once a month. Um, so and we've had in many we've had a num well, one or two new people every every time, and so there's a there's that sort of layer of groups um, who are coming from the the people who've been here every time to the people who will drop in and drop out, and it's made some some good connections. 
I think it gets all communities together from zero to 87, you know. Sometimes we have girls with babies uh, and it's so nice to have an includer. It's very inclusive and I think it's a jolly good idea. It's a shame it's not open more days a week, really. I think the village needed it. There was yeah, no there. And um, it's just so relaxed and easy. Yeah. And everybody just chats to everybody. And I mean, we've lived in the village on and off for years and years. Yeah. Haven't we? But still, I've met people I've not met before and talked to people that I've not met before. And we've been to other things as a result of this, haven't we? like Nervous's yeah. fundraising for yes. the Heart Foundation. Yeah. And, you know, just really nice. You didn't realise we needed it yeah. until we did it, if that makes sense. Yeah.